So we've brought our DXF file in and we've seen that we've got tooling set up for it. DXF files and drawings generally aren't always going to be, are they, nice continuous contiguous profiles. So we can um, <coughs> check some of these in SmartCam if I if I try and profile select use our profile select tool and pick up the outer boundary we can see that the data structure isn't a continuous chain profile for the outside. We can verify some of the others. The inners <coughs> look okay, don't they? So they're fine. Um, so we need to do something then about the outer boundary. Um, if we pick up the, the layer that that's on, and then in SmartCam <coughs> we have plenty of tools to be able to sort of make profiles of them, so group chain them. That's now a single continuous profile. We might have a preference on direction, so I can reverse the order of that. Um, I can change the start position. Um, we can look at looking at some of that in a minute. So we've got this outer profile, and um, <coughs> for this part, we'll we'll look at a couple of options of how we might machine it. If, for example, it were coming from a casting, maybe five or ten mil offset from that, um, I'll make a copy of this profile because I want to keep this top profile intact for later processes. But we'll make a copy of it first of all um, to use as a stock profile. So. Um, if I add a new layer to, to this model, and we'll call it stock, <coughs> and um, I now copy this profile, so I can say um, to a level of perhaps 25 mil, if that's 20 mil thick, the component, um, make an offset, a wall offset copy of the shape uh, by 10 mil, and offset this element here. So we've put um, a new layer into the model at minus 25 and we've offset our profile boundary um, for use of stock. So we might do a profiling operation um, around that part. Now in SmartCam with uh, DXF information such as this, one of the fundamentals of SmartCam is, is the ability to convert line arc to toolpath and toolpath back to line arc. So we can see an example of that here. We might want to run a 20 mil cutter, for example, around our profile from the stop. We might want two passes on it. Um, so I can convert this line arc drawing directly into toolpath. So um, we can make a copy of it first of all, perhaps, because I want to keep the the top in, in intact. So <coughs> make a single copy. We don't send it anywhere first of, all, first of all from zero to zero. So we've duplicated our profile now. And now I can convert that straight away or the profile that's picked now, I convert that to toolpath. So just change some properties, make it toolpath, put it on this roughing cutter, this 20 mil we'll machine that to a level of 20 millimeters and we'll set um, a clearance height and a profile top oops set a clearance height of five millimeters a profile top of zero and we'll offset our tool path to the left hand side except that so we've now created some tool path we go back to plan view we can watch that toolpath. Keep it fairly slow to start with. <coughs> a bit faster. And we can control the start and end position. <coughs> it could be that we want to convert part of the profile for partial profiling. And certainly I would want to add uh, a lead in lead out now so we can uh, add those items to the shape. A lead in lead out um, to the active group, this profile that's selected, and we can control the parameters of that lead in. So we'll come in with a radial lead in of um, a 15 mil radius through 90 degrees, and we'll match the lead off, um, lead on, lead off. So do that. We've added now uh, a lead in, lead out to our profile. So if we finally look at that, Remember what we did earlier on? We created a stock boundary on a, on a layer 25 mil deep, and we can now use that to simulate our toolpath. Do just that. So our stock layer is this, and 
simulate our toolpath. Okay. Um, so that's one of the fundamentals of Smart Cam is just being able to convert line art drawing to um, toolpath. You are able. The alternative is to start adding processes to these to the geometries toolpath using the profile boundaries uh, to control. And we'll look at that in the next uh, video.